Hi, hi, welcome to the lightning talk. I'm going to start because these go by pretty quick. So I want to make sure that there's uh, time for going through everything and questions uh, throughout or at the end. Um, so uh, this is um, an add-on to Google Slides called Pear Deck. It's been around for a bit, but it's sort of been improved and adjusted over time. So let me show you how to access it. And then uh, we'll go through kind of a mock session to kind of get the student experience um, and see if it's something that you like to use, OK? So if you go to Google Slides, um, it, it works really great if you already have a slide deck for your lessons, for how you're teaching. And then you can sort of. Uh, put the add-on, the pair deck add-on, and to your existing slides, you can add like interactive slides for the students. Um, so you can kind of get uh, immediate feedback from the students as you're teaching. Uh, if you don't already have slides, you can create them and use the add-on to, to, um, um, to put the interacting uh, slides in as you're creating it. But, but uh, it's great if you already have them, okay? So in Google Slides, I have an existing slide deck here. You go to add-ons and you go to get add-ons and you can search for it. You can search for pair deck, but it's one of the top ones and you're going to click on it and it's just going, it's going to install it. Okay. Um, it, it might ask you if you're kind of trying to do it now, it might ask you to like get an instructor account or sign in or something. I'm not sure because I already have it on. I'm not sure what the initial bit is. Um, so um, so uh, you can sort of try it later. Um, but once it is, it's installed, you can um, go to Pear Deck and open the Pear Deck app. Um, and it will show in this uh, toolbar on the right. OK, start lesson is what you're going to do when you're ready to start your lesson after you uh, you put on the all the slides on um so to kind of put the elements of the pair deck in there's a couple of ways one is that there's a template library that you can sort of use pre-created slides and there are things like uh, beginning of lesson slides that you'll kind of get students to you know what do you think about this question uh, how was the homework uh, how are you feeling today uh, there's like during lessons kind of stopping and think, you know, how's it going? Should I move on? Should I slow down? Uh, you know, how do you think about this? Um, end of lesson questions like reflecting. There's also critical thinking and social and emotional learning kind of slides. And there's also slides that are sort of particularly for subjects like uh, math ones and uh, science ones. So, so basically these are templates. So whatever slides you find it in templates, they're easy to adjust. We're kind of replacing images and replacing equations or questions to what you need. All right. Um, any questions so far? You have the basic account, right? You're just doing this without the premium? Yeah, I have the basic account. There is a premium account. The premium account allows you to kind of save more student information and sort of look at things in more detail. Um, I know, um, I think the premium account, I just looked it up, it's about $150 a year. Um, I think most, uh, if you use this a lot, it might be worthwhile, uh, but try it out with a free account first uh, and see if you like it. I wouldn't. Uh, Oh, I don't recommend spending money. <laughs> um, I think uh, this is used in high school, like in schools, so high school, middle school, and it's integrated with Google Classroom. You can integrate with Canvas if the institution has an account with them, but but otherwise, I think it's a bit separate. All right. Uh, here, it's uh, you can um, require students to log in with an email or not. You can have them anonymous. And I discovered that this morning, I'm really excited because I thought it was a bit clunky to have students uh, sign in with uh, Gmail before. Uh, some people don't like Gmail, uh, but you can turn that off so people just join anonymous, uh, anonymously. But if you like to kind of track student responses, then you can require them to sign with an email. All right, so let me start the lesson. Um, so you can be instructor pace, which is live, uh, either over Zoom or in the classroom on the projector, or it can be student paced where students can go through the slides at their own pace and still give you their reactions and interactions. 
Um, so let's do the instructor one. Um, so this is what shows. Uh, it's waiting for students. Uh, you can have them go to this website and put the password, but you can also give them a link. Okay, so here's the link in the chat. Um, please click on that to join uh, and you can kind of get the student experience. All right, I'm going to join to just to kind of see what uh, how it's working. I have 10 students connected. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. There's 13. Uh, all right. I'll just give you 11 students. Cool. So you're waiting for your students. They're joining. You can start the class. All right. And they basically will see your slideshow, um, but on some slides, they can interact with it. So your view is slightly different than my view because uh, they're going, you, you can um, type in and you can draw and stuff. All right. So. Here's some, here's like a beginning <laughs> of the lesson slide example. Uh, you can give a response on yours. You should be able to um, see a dot that you can drag, right? Am I enjoying it or not? Uh, from the teacher side, you can, if you click on show responses, then you can see the students' responses. So you can share that with uh, your students as you're teaching or not. Um, it, it, I think it's always fun to do it, All right? Um, let's see. So this is uh, what would you like to know about Pear Deck? Um, I was having, uh, we're having a little trouble with this one in the last presentation. This one you can draw or type. Um, I think some people didn't have their thing show up. Uh, so I'm not sure what, what was happening. Um, but yeah, if you can sort of take a, a few seconds to, to let me know, what would you like to know about Pear Deck? All right, I'm gonna put in my thing. And uh, here's the response. Oh, I like that. That's very pretty. Oh, okay, okay. So that, that was the problem, All right? So when you're looking at the responses, you can actually see what each student responded on a separate slide, okay? So let's see what, what kind of things you guys put in there. Flowers, thank you. Hearts and stars. Um, so yes, you, you have, a, when you start a presentation, you can set it two different ways. One is live, instructor-led, but there's also a student-led one. Uh, and that one, you can basically put the link in Canvas and students can go through um, on their own, okay? Um, um, yeah, I think it, like anything, you get used to it. Um, I recommend for students to, I like I, wouldn't share this, I would just tell students to go to um, the link that I gave you and concentrate on that because they'll basically see the slides and interact with them. Um, so I wouldn't like share my teacher's screen and theirs at the same time, unless I wanted to share responses that the class gave me. Um, so, so yeah, you, you don't want them to have uh, too many things so so like this is not how the class over zoom would typically go go i i would stop sharing at this point unless i was sharing the the, the student feedback all right um how is different the mentimeter uh, i think it kind of has more more ways that students can interact with it. Um, I think Mentimeter, there's only certain things that uh, it, it is uh, more limited, uh, but it kind of depends what you do. There are like so many options. Uh, and yes, you can use it in the classroom also. If you can have it on the projector, you can have students. So um, it works well on the phone. Uh, it actually quite good, good on the phone. All right. Um, okay, so let me... <laughs> Let me go back to the presentation. Okay, so that's those are the responses. Um, okay, 
So yeah, you can uh, basically to build it, you can insert slides from Pear Deck template library into your existing slide deck. You can also use individual elements that you can add to slides. So if you don't like any of the um, slide uh, templates, they have like building blocks. Uh, and you can also add interactive slides on the fly, which is pretty cool. So you can see the new prompt here. Like if I go, oh, I built this slide deck, but I want to ask one question here. You can click on new prompt and you can sort of put in, oh, let me let me put this in, draw, draw or tap to things that you learn. Or let me put uh, a reflection here. I, I didn't do it when I was building my slides, but I can do it on the fly. Okay, so that, that's kind of neat. All right. Uh, here's another one from the slide library. So there are kind of diagrammy slides. You, again, as you're building is you can replace the pictures and the questions with stuff that you want students to do. So from the student side, you can sort of label, label things. I don't know what those are, how to spell it, but I think Antena. Uh, Okay, let's see the responses. There's two responses here. And you scroll down and you can see all the student responses. Right. Um, okay, circle the correct choice. So again, this, uh, this is from the template, but you can edit this easily once you put them in your slide deck. Okay, some people are responding to that one. Let's see, there you go. Very nice. Is there an overlay or can you only do one person at a time? Uh, some of them have overlays. Okay. Like the ones with kind of where you drag the dots, how you're feeling, that's an overlay. Some where you're kind of giving responses or you're graphing or so on, then it has individual ones. So, so yeah, it depends on the question that you're asking. All right, there you go. Let's do some math. <laughs> Graph this equation. So yeah, I think the, the chart one. And, and you can see it live as people are doing it. All right, so, so as they're drawing, as they're kind of, they're, they're doing it sort of, because they're anonymous, or you can say, hey, hey, guys, I'm not sure who's doing this one, but uh, you got the wrong uh, X and set or whatever. <laughs> so, so you can kind of give, give them real time feedback. Um, okay, so this is one with overlay. Okay, so here is like how you're feeling. You know, I understand, I'm confused, keep going, I need help. Uh, this one, you can see it as, uh, yeah, as a collective. All right, now, okay, most, most people are doing fine, some are confused. Uh, okay, let me know what you're confused about. There's another type, can you identify bias? So yeah, there's loads of different templates that you can use and adjust. Uh, I, like, I like how many they have. All right. Um, I always wanna look at the responses. All right, so they don't, we are, okay, good. So uh, I want to make sure there's only a couple of minutes left uh, let me give you a couple of resources. So there's a YouTube channel that has instructions on how to use it and ideas for teaching. And there's also a knowledge base for that. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking and let me know if there's any questions on this. Has anyone used Parent Deck before? Okay. Yeah, I use it occasionally. I know like a couple of uh, our teacher in the math department like use it pretty much for all their lessons and they really like it. All right, I know another tech tool to try out. Um, they don't know they don't need a gmail account okay um you you can require them to have a gmail account to sign in so you can keep track of what they're doing so at the end where you end the presentation you can save it so you can save this uh, session one 
um, June 3rd, is it June 3rd today? Uh, and then you can go back and, um, and look at your session and look, review the responses and so on. Uh, some of them, I think some of them come in their used to Google Classroom and some of them know of Pear Deck because they're students. Um, you're welcome. All right, I see. Yeah, uh, I think there, there's lots of different interactive tools to use right now. So this is one of many on the list, like Zoom polls and um, Mentimeter, and uh, I heard uh, somebody else uses Desmos uh, for interaction. So yeah, all right, you're welcome. You have a good rest of the day. Stick around if you have questions. You're welcome.